Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age. In the last episode, I did some more hunts, and now we're gonna do the Death Gaze hunt. This is one of the more annoying ones to do because uh, well, you gotta like ride around in the airship and hope that the mark actually shows up. Now, this is a trick that I think everybody knows. What you want to do is you want to get reverse on this mark to start out. You want to cast, not reverse, all re again, you want to cast, where the hell is it? Yeah, you want to cast renew on it. And then when you uh, cast renew on it, it should bring the, the mark down to less than 500 HP and then cast a simple cure spell on it and it will die. That is the, uh, cheese method to uh, dealing with this next boss. So what I'm gonna do is uh, find that little, that family or whatever that, uh, yeah, I think they're right here. Coulda initiated this hunt earlier in uh, Nalbana in the last video. Or maybe it was a couple videos ago, I can't remember exactly. Chocobos. It's a lot of black chocobos. You could open up your own chocobo farm, right? The hundred black chocobos, you could start breeding them. That's what I would do. Death gaze, the hunt begins. So, I'm gonna ride an airship for the very first time since playing this game. So yeah, I could have done this much sooner, obviously. Uh, yeah, I think it's faster if you do the private cabin thing, but I'm gonna do the leisure craft because, uh, well, there might be some, uh, some things we can purchase. Also, I believe you can get the uh, Sight and Grot bow on the airship, or one of these airships, if you want. I don't want. That would make the game too fucking easy. It's already pretty fucking easy. Hmm. 
teleport stones, huh? Sure. Wait a minute, what? Sorry, chamber pot it is, man. Guy doesn't have a very good outlook on life. He's saying that the world is shit. Air deck, okay. What's in the uh, sky saloon again? Bunch of stuck up nobles on these uh, trips. Sure, give me an Arcadius. There's um, a little quest we can do here. Yeah, who's this Randy? Might as well start it, I guess. I don't know if I'll finish it in this video. Playing a game. This year, I propose that you each gather a flower for your mother, and that this boy here informs each of your sisters of this arrangement or of the arrangement. If he can deliver the message to every one of them, my brothers and I will abandon all hope of marriage to you and your. <laughs> She's got a point. It is a pretty silly quest. Six ships, six sisters. Yeah. So basically you gotta go around and you gotta deliver a bunch of crap on different airship flights. So I get Anne's letter. No thanks, not yet. Okay. Basically, you gotta talk to the chief steward when you wanna finish the trip. So let's go out here and talk to the people on the air deck.
yeah, the, uh, the, the chest, the invisible chest for the sighting grapple, I believe, shows up right on this spot right here, if you're lucky. And then, you have to be even luckier to get the damn thing. Again, I, uh, I don't give a fuck. If you want the sight and grab bow, there's plenty of videos on YouTube showing how to, like, get it. And, it's, and, like, there's, like, ways to manipulate the random number generator. I'm not gonna bother, because that bow is bullshit. Total bullshit. Anyways, let's, uh... Let's fucking, uh, let's just go ahead and rest. Cause yeah, we didn't actually run into the, uh... Into the, uh, the mark, so we're just gonna finish the trip. Now, I believe after every time you fail to run into the death gauge, you need to find the boy again and talk to him. So let's go ahead and find the, uh, here he is. This is supposed to double the chance of actually running into him, I guess, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try and find, or let's just take another route to somewhere else. Private airships, flights to Rabinasta. Yeah, let's go to Balfenheim. From here. Look at that. I actually got him to fucking uh, show up already. Hell yeah, we're gonna volunteer to fight it. Well, it lucked out. I didn't have to do this too many times. Yeah, and you know what? I gotta turn off Vaughn's gambits here. I do not want him attacking. Yeah, it's gonna be... Faux status, reverse, renew, and then yeah. Fran's gonna put reverse on the guy, Balthier's gonna put renew on him, and then Fran's gonna use a cure spell on him to kill him. And that's how you deal with this guy. In fact, why don't I just, uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna turn Vaughn's gambits off completely. Probably don't need to, but... Let's talk to everybody and see what they have to say. I'm your man. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am, I should say.
Hey, look at that, you can get not a rush here. Cool. And Phoenix Stones. What else can we get? The ship weren't so slow, you wouldn't have to worry about dead keys. Now, hopefully, this guy doesn't have a reflect. Yeah, alright, I don't need fucking bravery and all this other shit. I don't need it. Why is he not doing anything? Should be casting renew on him. Guess he doesn't want to. Got him. Death Quays Vanquished. So there you go. It's the easiest way to beat that guy. For a second there, it didn't even look like the gambits were functioning properly. First renew cure.
let's go ahead and retire. Sounds good. That was a lot less of a headache than I thought it was going to be. Now this little kid can be a sky pirate. And 100 black choke balls, it's crazy. Summer home and airship 100 chocobos, yes. But can the father afford all this shit? That is a real question. So we get 3,400 gil and two elixirs. Not a very good reward, actually. Okay, so it's time to get on another flight. Let's go to Nalbana, go to Arcades, Bujerba. What, no flights to Rabinasta? So we could try to Bujerba, I guess. Yeah, I just want to check out what they have for sale. That's why I'm taking the leisure craft. I think if you take the private cabin and like skips the whole like walking around in the airship part. Spell modes. So that way I don't have to use Balti or Fran anymore to dispel shit. They don't, I don't see, I don't know if they, it'd be nice if they, uh, sold his stock emotes up here in one of these ships. Cause I mean, if I want to use reflect on my party, but I still want to buff my party, and I want to use accessories like opal rings or, or mirror mail, then, uh, having moats is probably a better option, to be honest. go out here and talk to people.
It's really nice. I like airships. No problem, Mr. Moogle. Sucks. Husband's in the army, so yeah, he uh, works a lot. He's away from home a lot. So yeah, if any of you are, like younger people are watching this that are planning on joining the military later on in life, uh. Let me just give you a little bit of advice here. Uh, if you go in the military, do not get married. I mean, if you want to bang women, fine, but don't get in a long-term relationship with them. Don't get them pregnant. And especially don't get fucking married, because if you get deployed somewhere and, you know, she's home by herself fucking around, she will cheat on you. It's almost a given. I mean, there's, well, okay, I won't say she will, but there's a high probability I mean, there's a very, very high probability. I don't know how many fucking dudes I knew, myself included, that got fucked over when uh, we got back from deployment. Anyways, um... nah, man, you can't, you can't trust most women, man. And hell, if you're a woman in the military, I mean, the same applies to you, man. You can't. Can't fucking can't can't really count on your uh, your spouse to not fucking cheat on you. And hell, I knew dudes that were cheating on their wives with other fucking uh, females in the military, which I thought was fucked up when I was in. I never did that. Oh yeah, that's right. I never talked to this steward here. So yeah, all these stewards, I guess, are related. <laughs> okay, so that's one. I think I forgot to do this on the last one, but oh well. Uh... Can I? Yeah, I wanna. I wanna rest. I think about it like people joining the military nowadays and it's like, man, I feel sorry for a lot of them, man. They gotta deal with a lot of politics bullshit going on. Like trans, like uh, transgender people and all this other shit. So, uh, fuck all that. It's getting too political, man. My thoughts on transgender people in the military, do you really want mentally ill people serving in the armed forces?
Because they are. I mean, transgender people are mentally ill people. There's a reason why their suicide rate is high. Because they are mentally unstable. They hate themselves. Which is why they can't decide... They can't cope with their identity. They want to be something that they're not. I, I just... I don't understand, like, why the hell anybody would think that having transgender people serving in the armed forces would be a good idea. I mean, it's bad enough that you, they're allowing gay people to be in there. Because you got gay people, like, I mean, fucking raping dudes. Like, I, I've heard about, like, uh, dude on dude rape going through the roof ever since they started uh, letting gay people in the military now. It used to be don't ask, don't tell, that kind of shit. Now, if you want to get out of the, <laughs> I mean, plus, I mean, if you really wanted to get out of the military that bad in the past, you could just tell the, your commander that you were gay, and then they would fucking discharge you. Yeah, you can't even do that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm a big time flamer. You know, fuck this shit. Oh, look at that reflecting emotes. This could be nice. What did you have again? I don't think I even... Oh yeah. Getting all these nice items. Riding these airships. When I was in the military, I, I took a lot. I didn't take a lot of the shit that went on seriously, man. I I thought a lot of it was a joke. Well, people in my unit learned not to piss me off, though. Cause I was the guy that fixed their computers and their fucking radios. Well, at least that's how it was when I started out. I don't know. As the years went on and I was in the National Guard, they tended to, uh, at least in between deployments, they tended to uh, downplay my importance. It's like, fucker, if you can't talk, you are fucked. Alright, if your computers don't function, you are fucked. How are you gonna, how are you gonna conduct operations if your equipment doesn't work? And the smart guys knew this. The dumbasses didn't. But yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't know how many shitty Dell computers I fucking fixed while I was in the military, man. Broken laptops with broken screens. A lot of times I would just take the fucking screens, like if one laptop was the same exact model as another laptop, I'd just take the broken screen off of one laptop, put it on the other. Usually I'd do a lot of stuff like that. One laptop would have a bad hard drive, the other laptop would have a broken screen. I would just swap parts. Dudes I'd work with like, oh man, I ain't touching them fucking laptops, man. I don't know, I never had a problem with them. They're definitely hard to fix than fucking regular desktop computers, though, I'll tell you that. Parts are a lot more compact. Uh, parts are a lot easier to break. Yeah, still talking about that case, whatever. Shut up, shut up. All right, so Rabinasta to somewhere else, right? Uh, is that what we can do here? Never went to 
went to Nelbana from Rabinasta. Lightning fangs? No, I don't give a shit. What do you have? Eh. Theodora the Highborn? It's Highborn cunts. Oh, sorry, Ash. I guess Ash is kind of a Highborn cunt, in a way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm channeling some game of Game of Thrones there. That's that's the kind of shit they say in that show. Highborn cunts. All right, so we're done here. I guess I should go deliver that letter, huh? So yeah, this is a pretty annoying side quest. What's going to be even more annoying is uh, having to go through and watch this footage to figure out. Uh, what which routes I've taken and which stewards I still need to talk to Because to be honest with you, I haven't really been keeping in track so far. I've just been kind of winging it All right Alright, so in the next episode, I'm going to show off the rest of the uh, letter side quest, and uh, then I'll show off um, another hunt. I'm not really sure which yet. I only have, like, three left. Really. Um, actually, maybe I only got two. No, I got three. I got to do the... Uh, Whatever the fuck it's called, the uh, Bolito Hunt. That's right. See you next time. Bye-bye.